Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to create a table in your Azure SQL database. Now to create a table, we have three prerequisites. One is Azure subscription. You must have an Azure subscription or Azure account. The second, second one is you must install SSMS that is SQL Server Management Studio in your local machine and the third thing is you must have created one azure sql database right for the first point i have already made a video how to create an azure free account you can check out that video and create an azure subscription or azure free account if you don't have till now and the second one i will put a link over there on the video description from the microsoft website that using that link you can download the ssms and install it on your local machine for the third one i have also made a separate video how to create an azure sql database that video link i'm going to put it in the video description that also you can follow and create a new azure sql database if you have not yet created okay now let's move to the topic Assuming you have all this prerequisites ready with you, let's move on to the next step. And the next step is to create a table in your Azure SQL database. You need to connect to Azure SQL database from your SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio. That also I have made another video just to give you more clarity. You can just check out that video in the video description. I will put it in that video description. Just see once how we can connect your Azure SQL database from the SSMS. Okay, now let's move on. For that, what I'll do is let me navigate to Azure portal where I have already created one database and I have also installed the SSMS in my local machine. We will see there which database and how to connect, right? So let's move on. Able to see here, I have already logged into Azure portal. And here, what I'll do is I'll search for SQL database. Now, click on the search result. You can able to see here I have one database created here, which is Azure Lessons DB, right? Just click on that. And here, you will see the server name, right? Just copy that name. Now we will open SSMS. I will just open it. SSMS. And you can able to see here this is the SQL Server Management Studio. Now to connect to Azure SQL database from SSMS. So we have copied the server name, right? I'll just put it here in the server name. And then the other thing what you need is authentication, right? So while creating this Azure Lessons database, I have chosen this Microsoft Entra option as the authentication type. In that video, you will get the clarity. As I told you that I have made a separate video on how to connect to Azure SQL database from SSMS. That video you will see, you will get the better clarity. What are the things we need to connect it, right? So basically the first thing is server name, which we copied and pasted it here. Now the authentication, I'll choose Microsoft Entra default and this ID also I'll put it, right? For that, what I'll do is, let me move to the portal again and I'll click on the server name. And then here is the Microsoft Entra admin. Okay, I'll just copy this ID. I will go here again to the SSMS. I will, as I told you, I will choose this authentication as Microsoft Entra default, and I will put the username as the copied one, right? Then I'll say connect. Now you can able to see we have connected to our Azure Excel SQL database successfully. And I'll just expand this database node, and you can able to see here this is the this is our Azure SQL database, right? And just expand it. For expanding, you can able to see this is the tables, right? I'll just expand the table again. 
So now you can able to see I have already two tables I have already created earlier. One is Azure License and PS Info Employee. Right? So now we will create one more new table just to show you how we can create the table in our Azure SQL database. Right? There are two approaches. We will use both the approaches and we will create two tables here. So we will create, we will use the first approach. I'll click on the new query window. And I have already written one query, SQL query to create a table. I will just paste it here. So this is the query which is docs tips. I'm telling that create a table name as docs tips and these are the columns employee id as int, employee name as worker and email also worker, right? So make sure that this Azure SQL DB is selected, right? Not the master one. You will see here master also there. Make sure it is our Azure SQL DB, right? Which is Azure Lessons DB in my case, right? Then just execute it. And you can able to see commands completed successfully. And this is the timestamp when it is it got created, right? Now to check whether the table has been created successfully or not, just right click on the tables and refresh it once. You can able to see here the docs tips the table has been created successfully. If you expand it, you can see the columns that we have used here, right? And able to see here, this is the employee ID, which is primary key and int and employee name and worker and email also and so these are the columns we have selected right so one more way to create the table is so this is the one way you can use this sql query to create a table uh, in your azure sql database the other approach is you can just right click on the tables node and click on the table now we need to enter the column names i will say employee id that's the type you need to choose. I will say int. I will just type int. And this is allow nulls no. So I deselect this. And then emp name. And I will say car. And this is also allow nulls. I have deselected. Right. Now you need to oh, enter all the column names and the, choose the data side types and then if you want to allow and also not you need to check or uncheck then click in this uh, click on the save button then now it will ask you to give a name for the table so i will say docs new okay then okay button now to make sure the table is created or not again you right click on the tables node and refresh it you can able to see here the table has been created successfully dbo.docs new that we have created and there are two columns right if i expand the columns you can able to see here employee id is int which is not null and employee name is nka which is again not null, right? So this is how you can able to create a table in your Azure SQL database. So that's it for today. I thought to show you quickly how you can create a table in your Azure SQL database and we have discussed all the approaches. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free videos on different Azure articles, different helpful Azure PowerShell commands and Azure CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.